So conditions in way are deteriorating again. It's uh, it's been raining pretty heavily for about 12 hours now, and the river level here, the, the Perfume River, is rising again. Locals assure me that uh, conditions are not going to be uh, as bad as they were on Sunday. I hope they're right. It's worth pointing out that I'm standing in uh, some of the most elevated parts of the city here. Other parts of the city, and particularly in the surrounding villages, uh, the water levels would be horrendous right now. So the villages, the people who live around this area would really be suffering terribly at the moment. So I wouldn't suggest you consider coming here or you think seriously about coming here until um, Thursday at the earliest, assuming that the weather improves a lot. There are more people, more tourists walking across this bridge in the rain than there are on a normal on a normal day when it's not raining. You might want to reconsider any plans to dine at this uh, floating restaurant monstrosity. I'm not sure that it's actually floating. Yesterday when I came past here, uh, the floodwaters were pretty similar to what are now. And the ramps were destroyed as they are now. But the karaoke machine was absolutely cranked up. Inside there was clearly a fairly major celebration of the way. This is the end of uh, Le Lottie Street, the causeway, and that's the perfume river that is uh, running right across. So this is the area I was staying in, which by all accounts is one of the most vulnerable to flooding. And uh, nobody tells you that. And I think I mentioned earlier that one of the things that's been quite remarkable about this experience is watching travelers, clueless travelers arrive at, uh, arrive at hotels. This could be some more right here. Ar arrive in hotels without any information that their hotel is in a flood zone. You can't expect booking.com or Agoda to tell you your hotel's in a flood zone either. The whole sort of duty of care idea that once existed in the travel industry, like so many other things, has been washed away. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. The sensational Bay Hopsa Farm building designed by Mo Viet Phu, distinguished Vietnamese architect, the guy that designed Saigon's reunification palace.